everybody welcome it's Michelle Newton here the Aussie Angel Lady live with you again tonight um, here to do some angel readings with you and also going to talk about Mercury retrograde which is coming up this Saturday the 12th which is my son's my youngest son's birthday so happy birthday to you Tom so I'm just going to go just excuse me for a moment I'm going to go onto my Facebook page here and this will let me actually um, see the comments a little so bit. So I'm just oh, going to go, just, just excuse turn me that for down. a moment, I'm going to go onto my Facebook page. Sorry, here. just turning it down so we can actually see there. That's beautiful. So, hi Ruth, how are you? Just send me a, um, a give me a heart or a, a like or something so that I know that, uh, you know, you can hear me loud and clear everybody. Put seven people on already, so that's really, really gorgeous. Hi Marianne, how are you going? And um, yeah, it'd be lovely to um, to know. Oh, there we go. I actually can see a thumbs up for once, so that's nice. Thank you, Facebook. Hi, Steve Miller. Steve, I read for you last week, and I didn't hear anything back from you. So let me know you're here. You're very quiet, little Earth Angel. Oh, I can see little hearts and things tonight. Isn't that awesome? Maybe it's some way that I've got the computer set up. Well, that's that's a bonus, isn't it? Hi, Tan. Hi, Sandra. How are you going? Nice to have you here. Um, oh, hi, Michelle. Thank you, Steve. Nice to see you. Oh, Anne Petrie. Hello, Anne. How are you? My dear school friend, long-term buddy. Hello, Eleanor. How are you? Marlon, Lucia, how are you all? Thank you so much for being here. Just give me a like or a heart if you can hear me nice and clearly. Love to see some more of those going across the screen. Uh, I'm here tonight. I want to start by talking about Mercury retrograde, guys. I don't know whether any of you have felt it kick in a little bit early this time. We certainly have at the centre a few things happening out there, like you heard the saga a few weeks ago about the broken shelves and angels flying everywhere and all broken. Well, we've had some technological sort of weird stuff happening out at the centre and that's a little bit in um, alignment with Mercury retrograde. So let me know if you've had anything... Um, a little bit you feel that it's actually um, kicked in early for you as well I want to talk about mercury now it's a planet as you know now this is not my specialty but it's just an area of interest um, yeah I know mercury retrograde people go oh god no but it's true oh god no. <laughs> all the planets need to go backwards for a while otherwise we we really wouldn't cope in the world so it's it's something that needs to happen um, even though it's actually quite difficult for us to um, navigate sometimes. So Mercury rules intelligence and the mind and he's also concerned with the memory and communication in all forms. So texting, speaking, um, writing, anything like that. So when he goes backwards, we're going to have difficulties in those areas. He also rules self-expression. Uh, your communication style, so your communication style may go off a little bit, Mercury retrograde, so just be wary of that. Um, in the public sense, he rules uh, commerce, so anything to do with money, banks, that type of thing, accounting. Um, also computers and phones and anything technical, we could have issues with that. Transporta transportation and air travel is another thing that Mercury um, does rule. So when we have a planet go backwards, we can see some interesting times in those areas. So uh, let me say this to you guys, um, a couple of things, yeah, and your mental faculties can go on vacation a bit. So you really can actually make wrong decisions and you don't think things through clearly. So in Mercury retrograde, a couple of things to remember. If you can, don't make any major agreements or sign any major contracts, if you can. Now, life's life and life must go on. So if you have to do something like that, you must read the fine print. You must get someone else to check it. You know, dot your I's, cross your T's and be very, very careful, okay? Try not to make any major purchases. So in major purchases, I'm talking about cars, houses, you know, probably vacations like a big trip overseas or something like that. I would hold off a little while. Try not to start anything new 
but that doesn't mean you don't keep working on what you've already been working on. So continue and finish off things, but probably not starting anything new. Um, and it's probably not a good idea to, you know, like a contract is a marriage or moving in with someone, probably not the wisest thing to do. But if your wedding is planned in that time, well, you just have to be aware of it and you just have to dot the I's and cross the T's and all that type of stuff. So that is Mercury, Mercury retrograde. Now, what you can do in Mercury retrograde is reflect on everything that's been going on recently. So, and really look at what you've learned from things recently and how you're going to apply that to your short-term and long-term goal setting. Is the picture nice and clear? Because it looks a little bit pixelated on my end. Someone let me know if it's um, nice and clear. Just give me a heart or a thumbs up. Um, so I'd love you to share this, guys, with your friends and family so that we know that we're on live. Um, it's Michelle Newton here, the Aussie Angel Lady here, talking Mercury Retrograde and... Oh, Lily Rose just says, ha ha, something just fell in my house. Well, there you go, Lily. Sounds like the AOK Healing Centre at the moment. We're having all sorts of things happen. The phones wouldn't work the other day. Oh, my God, talk about Mercury Retrograde hasn't even started. We started the day with no phones and we couldn't work out for the life of us what was wrong with them. Thank God Sarah was there and she's pretty savvy and we, we eventually got that worked out. Um, you, our music's been playing up and we got that fixed. So, and yeah, anyway, we're getting all these phone calls from all these, you know, telemarketers. So, you know, oh, gosh, anyway, it can be really, really tricky. Bianca, oh, Bianca, you look lovely tonight. Oh, thank you, Bianca. Aren't you gorgeous? Okay. So any questions about Mercury retrograde? Hi, Marilyn. How are you? Nice to have you here. Hi, Di. Got that, that beautiful selenite lamp put aside for you, beautiful. Um, so any um, any questions about Mercury Retrograde, guys? Just let me know if there is. I'll just go back in here so that I can see your comments again. Love to know any questions that you've got about that. Everybody just wants me to do readings, but you know what? It's all very good to just do readings, but it's great to actually learn something as well. Michelle said, is that why my cats are running around in my unit like wild animals? Well, we've just had a full moon as well, Michelle. So that's probably more the moon's energy that are sending the cats a little bit because cats are very, you know, excuse me, I just have a sip of my green tea, are very sensitive um, to the moon. So that will be why. So we've just had a full moon as well and then we go on to a Mercury retrograde. So a lot of intense sort of energies going around. Um now, Mary's asked me when it starts on August the 12th, which is Saturday. Um, just a moment, Mary. I'll find you the date of when it ends. Just a moment. I'll get my calendar because I write all these sort of things down because I would certainly not make any major. Mercury retrograde ends on the 5th of September. So it's about a month, okay, not quite a month. But you can feel the energies two weeks before and two weeks after as it as it sort of drifts off and Nora was saying would this explain why my dogs have been sick maybe full moon more than mercury retrograde mercury as i said doesn't affect your health it affects communication and thinking and um electrical equipment you're welcome michelle hi samantha how are you um lisa's birthday is, is to august the 12th happy birthday lisa same day as my youngest son let's do a card for you lisa since it's your birthday on saturday it's a great time talking birthdays to do an angel reading with your cards on your birthday okay because then you can get a really great energetic reading for the year going forward so lisa if you've got the cards the angel feather oracle or archangel michael sword and shield get them out on saturday and do a reading and also write down the cards that you select for your birthday year going forward in your angel journal okay very good okay so here we go so this is for you lisa i'm just going to draw you a birthday card so happy birthday awesome can can we send birthday cakes or anything oh someone's just sent a, ca a candle let's all send a birthday cake to lisa dawson white if you know how to do it it'll be really cool i think someone just did it before send a candle for her they've sent you some hearts though lisa so that's nice okay so here we go 
Mary, I use my Angel Feather Oracle. This is a, and my Archangel Michael Sword and Shield Oracle. Uh, where is it? Um, I've written these oracles, so they're the cards that I use. They're amazing. Samantha sent you lots of lots of birthday cakes in the comments, um, Lisa. But I, I'd love. I, I don't know whether we can get them to fly across the screen. I'm not sure. Probably not. Lisa, this is a card for your birthday. Oh, the answer is yes. Okay, so if you've been asking a question over and over again, Lisa, the answer is yes. So I'm going to draw another card now from Archangel Michael. Oh, and this is a gorgeous card. This is Crystal Protection, um, Crystal Energy. Archangel Michael's leading you to a protective crystal to wear or work with. So if anyone knows Lisa and you are looking for a birthday present for her, it would be awesome if you bought her a lovely crystal. And, yes, you can gift people crystals. You do not have to select them yourself. That is just all, you know, wives' tales. So, Lisa, yes, um, time to start working with your crystals. And if you don't receive a beautiful crystal for your birthday, go and buy yourself one. You'll be drawn to it, okay? So happy birthday to you. All right, let's see who else we have here tonight. I'm going, and if you please stay on the call because I scroll back through, so don't go anywhere. Um, hi, Samantha says very clear. That's great. Hi, Ainsley, Kathy, Nairi, Kelly. I've already said hello to Bianca and Gaylene Miller. How are you all going? Aussie Angel Lady here. Please like and share the stream with your friends, please. And um, we will um, get as many readings as we can done for people tonight. I usually get about 25 done. Okay, let me have a look. And I have a bit of a system so that I don't read for the same people all the time. Give, you know, Share it around a little bit, guys. I am looking at a Annesley Downey. Hi, Annesley. Annesley, I hope I've said that right. I'm sorry. I'm not that good with names, but I'll do my best. I'm going to draw you a card now, Annesley. And if you've got, if you, I do read for you, please get back to me and... Let me know um, if it resonates, please. Only nice things. Thank you very much. Uh, you've got travel coming, Annesley. So if you're going to travel between the 12th of August and what did I say? The 5th of September, which is Mercury retrograde, just make sure you check everything. Check your luggage. Check your times. Check you've got your ticket. Allow yourself, an, an, allow yourself enough um, time just in case, you know, things get all mucked up. Um, either end, both ends of your trip, um, and, you know, label your luggage well, that type of thing. Um, if you're not planning on going then, that's fine. You will have travel coming up. It could be a holiday or it could be associated with work. So um, you're going to be busy, Annalise, and um, you uh, will have your travel angels with you. Okay? Beautiful. Thank you very much. Let me know if it resonates. Um, love to hear back from you. Otherwise, I feel like I'm just talking to myself which I probably am, <laughs> but, you know, I've got plenty of people here. Um, okay, let's see who else we've got here. Just scrolling back through, and I, I can go right back through to the front because I've got my, um, my phone here. Okay, so let's have a look here. I've got Elizabeth Marie says it to... Who, Hussey, Hussey, Hussey. So Elizabeth, that is a very, very long name, darling. Could be Marie. Setitsu. I in need of help from my angels. Okay, so let's have a look and see what they've got to say for you, Elizabeth. Things have been a little bit tough for you, darling. Um, this card is the Aqua Angel Feather and it says you have healing hands. The angels acknowledge that you have unique healing talents and abilities and your magical prowess is required in service. If you are a healer, uh, you need to protect yourself a little bit more, Elizabeth. I'm not sure that you are. I'm, I'm actually thinking that you're going to be led to a healer um, that's going to assist you greatly. Um, and I'd also like you to work with Archangel Raphael Elizabeth. You need to contact him because he heals emotional pain, physical pain and financial pain and I think that could be a part of your problem. Okay, darling, let me know how that resonates with you. Thank you all for being here. Please like and share the live stream with your friends and family so that we know they know that we're here on doing some angel readings for you tonight. I'm sorry I didn't get here last night. I've actually had a really, really huge week. 
um, I've been down to Melbourne to the gift fair and um, I had some sort of like 4.30 a.m. mornings and 6 o'clock mornings, which I'm completely allergic to. I'm an evening girl anyway. So you've got to do what you've got to do, guys, when it's um, when you've got to do things. So, um, yeah, so we've got that done. And my goodness me, have we got some amazing, beautiful things coming to the AOK Healing Centre. And Christmas is just going to be stunning. So if you're locals, you want to hop out to our centre, Christmas will probably get set up about, oh, I normally set it up cup day, but um, I may have a week off. My sister Sharon is on to me about having a week off. So I may have a week off. So we might set it up a little bit later than normal. Okay, I'm going to draw a card for, let's see, Michelle Butsani. How are you, Michelle? You're often here, I know, and you'd like a card. And I'm going to draw one for you. And I do keep a record of who I've read for. Oh, Michelle, this is the Primrose Angel Feather and Advanced Soul. The angels acknowledge that you're in the midst of an advanced, beautiful soul, an indigo crystal or rainbow child that you've been called on to love, guide and teach. What a blessing. If you're concerned about one of your children or um, a child that's in your near vicinity, um, call on Archangel Gabriel. Um, I don't think, if, if you are concerned about one of your children, I don't think this problem is going to last very long. I think it will resolve um, quicker than you think. And um, I would just be, you know, surrounding the children with gold like I do with mine every day with gold mesh, keep them nice and safe. Um, if you have got a sensitive child, which this is about a sensitive child, um, a crystal would be good for them. Um, I'm actually feeling some celestite would be good for this child. You'll know which child it is if you've got more than one. Some celestite, C-E-L-E-S-T-I-T-E. -E -E. It's a very angelic crystal. That would be awesome for that child, okay? I think it'll be short-lived though, so stop worrying if you can, please. Okay. Beautiful. So let me know you're here, everybody. Thank you for all the lovely hearts. We've got lots of people on the call. That's really, really beautiful. Um, Jackie Stone. Hi, Jackie. I don't know that I've seen your name before. Are you a first-time person coming to my readings? I'm going to draw a card for you. Please let me know if uh, the reading resonates when um, after I've read for you. Uh, acknowledge that I've actually, you know, that you I've read for you. That would be really, really nice. Michelle says, okay, sorry, she doesn't have any, no children around you, okay. Do you have any children that you guide at all, Michelle? Because there is, it's it's a child that's around you. So any, any like, you've, have you got um, nieces, nephews? Do you work with children? Because there is a child around you that could do with a crystal, okay. So we, of these, we often get this card for people who work with children, you know, they can be teachers or or they just have a next door neighbour's child that, you know, is very sensitive. Um, if that's the case, um, you know, you could gift a child a crystal. Um, okay. Now, Jackie, a card for you, gorgeous. Jackie, you've got an open door coming. It's the burnt orange angel feather and it's an open door. It's an, about an, an opportunity that's coming. So it's very, very exciting. The angels ask you to be very observant as you are to be presented with an exciting opportunity. Okay, so this is very, very beautiful card for you. So you need to be very observant because something exciting is coming your way. All you have to do is walk through the door. Now, Michelle, are you, are you get back to me, are you actually um, looking to have a child? Talk to me a little bit about that. Okay. Okay, who are we going to next? Uh, hello, Helen. I don't know how to say your surname, Helen. Ely, is that how I say it? Um, I'm listening from Ireland. So welcome everybody from Ireland and England. Would love a card from my angels as I talk to them every day. I have a son with autism and want to know if it will get easier. Well, uh, namaste, Helen. That means I um, treasure the place in which we are one. I also have an autistic son um, who is an adult now and um, he is a miracle. So let me, uh, you've probably been guided to me and let me reassure you that all you just have faith and you, um, you trust in your angels and in your angels' guidance and you pray and uh, follow your guidance with your child and um, 
you know, miracles do happen and I had a miracle and my son was very severe. So here's a card for you. That exactly what I said. It's a blue angel feather, Helen. Uh, accept life as it is. So that means, you know, stop trying to control it. And, you know, one of the things that I really had to learn was not to um, get ahead of myself because you could really flip yourself into a frenzy especially worrying about the future and what, what's going to happen. So you've really got to keep yourself in the moment um, and, um, you know, try and keep yourself calm. Looking after yourself is the most important thing here, Helen. Okay, you're speaking from experience. So um, if you don't look after yourself, you can't look after your son. So you really need to make yourself a priority. And I know it's very, very hard. Um, something that I really battled with, but I, I did crash into a big screaming heap when I was about 40. So um, look after yourself, try and keep calm, Do meditate, do anything that keeps you nice and calm. Um, and, you know, water is very calming as well. So, and um, you know, so if you nice long, you know, soak in the tub or, you know, shower or swim or something is very, very good. So the colour blue. So it's about just going with the flow and one day at a time and do not get ahead of yourself, Helen. That will bring you undone. Okay, and all the best to you, beautiful. Okay, let's see. Now, welcome here, everybody. It's Michelle Newton here, the Aussie Angel Lady, um, doing some angel readings, talking about uh, I have done a little bit about Mercury retrograde. So if you missed that, uh, the live recording will go up so you'll be able to listen to it at the start because it's some, actually some really good information um, Oh, Sherry Ward says, you're not talking to yourself. We are definitely listening. Well, aren't you gorgeous, Sherry? Thank you so much for being here. And um, because you've just said something so beautiful, I'm going to draw a card for you, Sherry. Where have you gone? Oh, goodness, Sherry Ward. I've been watching you when you pop up in my news feed. Thank you for your readings. I'd love a card reading if possible. Sherry, I'm going to draw you a card now. Thank you for coming here. I have seen your, your little profile picture. Um, and, you know... The angels always lead me to the person who who um, needs a reading on the night. So um, yeah, it doesn't have to be anything drastic. It's just, you know, I'm just intuitively guided to the person on that night. Now, this is a lovely card for you, Sherry Ward. And it's the peach angel feather. So it's secret desire. The angels are aware of your innermost desires and dreams. Hand them over for safekeeping. So if you've been really longing for something, um, it's usually heartfelt longing. Um, you hand it over to your angels so that, you know, let go of it, you know, is what they're telling me to tell you, to let go of it. Write it down on a piece of paper and put it next to a candle, something like that. Because, um, you know, otherwise you could feel like you're not fulfilling your dreams. So, you know, like you've heard of people writing a bucket list and things they've always wanted to do. Have you ever tried that? Um, and I know some things might be without our reach, with, not in our reach, but you know, um, you can you can feel what it's like to go to France by watching a movie about France or reading a book about France. Do you know what I mean? You don't actually have to go to France. So I'm just going to give you that message. That's what they're saying to me. Okay. Thank you, Sherry, and thank you for being here. So thanks, everybody. Please like and share the live stream. Uh, as an energy exchange, it's really great if you actually like the Michelle Newton, um, the Aussie Angel Lady Facebook page and to like and, you know, share and send me hearts and all that sort of stuff. It's really lovely. Oh, Helen says uh, this is about her son, the autistic young. Thank you so much. He's 19 next week and severe also. Yes, have been worried all week and, yes, neglecting myself. So time for a change, definitely. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Helen. Um, also, Helen, um, have a look at the product called Kyani, K-Y-A-N-I. -I. It's a nutritional supplement. Um, I have had uh, my son's had great, um, very, very quick um, improvement with the Kayani, which is a nutritional supplement. Um, there is a link on my website, which is www.michellenew10.com. Um, and it is a multi-level marketing company, but it's the only way we can get this product. And it is an excellent nutritional supplement. And we are actually under a neurosurgeon because we were nurses. So um, it is fantastic. And if you can only afford to get one thing, try him on the Nitro Extreme Drops. It is just food, but if he's on medication, take it to your GP, doctor, medical doctor, and get them to have a look at it, and they'll just say, well, it's just food. So 
it'll be really, really worth um, a try with, with him. Okay there. Beautiful, Helen. All the best, sweetheart. Um, Kylie, thank you. Love it all. Hello, Colleen. And hi, Joanne. How are you going? Thank you all for being here. And I must just write your name down, Helen. Oh, yes, I've wrote, written your name down. That's great. Uh, Candy Hobby. Hi, Candy. How are you? Thanks for being here. If you're guided to me, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Well, let's see what the angels have to say, even, Candy, for you. Um, okay. Oh, this is interesting. Light blue angel feather candy. Um, it's break the silence. The angels would like you to assist you with sensitive communication that's required at this moment in time. Now, if you if you do, you will need to speak to somebody. Some you're going to have to speak to somebody about something. Now, this is a card about not being quiet. It's it, there is something that does need to be said, but you really need to do it carefully. You really need to be very, very mindful of what you say. You need to be mindful of the other person. And is it uh, is it a good time for them? Is it a good time for you? If it's not a good time for them, back out and 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 go again a little bit later. Um, this conversation I certainly wouldn't be having in Mercury retrograde if you actually listen to the start of the live call. It could well and truly go pear shaped, um, but. You, you will be uh, needing to say something. You know, you need to speak up about something. Um, and, you know, it's okay if you call Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Michael in and you think about what you're going to say because something does need to be said, it will go well, okay, if it's the right time for both of you, okay? Very, very good. So let me know if the reading resonates for you guys. Uh Sharice Wright just says, just popping in to say hello. I love your cards. So much love and to everyone tonight. Oh, aren't you gorgeous? Let's give you a card. I hope I've said your name right, Sharice. I probably haven't. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let's just draw you a card. Jackie, I just read you a card, gorgeous. Oh, see, on the computer compared to the phone, the feed's really slow. Anyway, so don't think I'm going crazy because I'm not. Okay, Sharice Wright, there's a card for you. Because you sent everybody love, and that's just so beautiful. The gold angel feather for you, full circle. The angels acknowledge and applaud the wonderful effort that you've put in. You're transforming from an ordinary human into a spiritual being, and your message shows that, that you're sending love and light to people. You're, you're, the angels are telling me you're really going to step into your own shoes very soon, Sherry. So um, you'll, you'll really feel, I don't know, you're just going to feel that you're right on track, that, you know, you're just going to find what you're meant to be doing and do what you're meant to be doing and just feel like you're just on track. That's awesome. Beautiful. Hi, Michelle. I hope you're feeling better. Now, Kylie Fev Simmons says, I had a feather fall on my pillow while I was away and it was black and white. Lots of signs from my daughter in heaven, I think. Oh, yes. How beautiful is that? And, um, isn't it amazing where we find these feathers, guys? And the feather is the angel sign. It's the way the angels communicate to us. Kylie, that feather will be about balance, the black and white. It's like the yin and the yang. It's about you being balanced and keeping balanced, okay? So, um, yes, your daughter will certainly be around you and she will send you angel feathers all the time. When we have coloured feathers, there's extra meaning with them. Um, and this one is about you keeping yourself in balance, okay? Uh, Marley Nick, oh gosh, you've got such long names tonight. Marley Nick Stas, oh, I can't do it. Neff, what card deck are you using? I'd like to have one drawn for me. Marley, it is the Angel Feather Oracle. This is an oracle I have written. It's available on my website, www.michellenew10.com. I'm going to give a discount coupon code at, um, at the end of the uh, live, so don't miss that because you're going to get a discount on my online angel shop. Um, okay, so stay on the call. Don't go anywhere because I do scroll back. Let's have a look and see who else I'm drawn to. If you don't get um, drawn, don't worry. There's always someone who's in, you know, lots of need. And, you know, the angels, I just choose people intuitively. And I will do a general reading shortly for everybody. So you can have your question in your mind and then I'll draw a general reading. Uh, 
Okay, let's have a look and see who else is here. See who else I'm drawn to. Michelle, did you get back to me about the child, whether you wanted to have a child? Paula Rooney says a black fella, a black, a black feather just fell at my feet. Paula, that means that you're protected by the angels. Okay, so it's a very protective feather. Okay, so that's not a bad thing. It's very, very good. Okay. Nairi says, I caught a grey feather while having lunch. Lunch. Oh God, what's wrong with me? I can't speak. I just felt like I had to look up at the sky and there it was. All I had to do was hold my hand out and landed in my palm. I felt less stressed at the time. Of course, that's called the falling angel feather sign. Okay, Nairi, that's a miracle. All right. It will definitely let you feel less stressed. It's a sign of peace. So the angels are sending you peace, Nairi. Okay, so that is very, very beautiful. Kylie Fev Simmons says, thank you so much. Definitely need to be balanced at the moment. Yes, sweetheart. And you can bring balance to yourself. Use some crystals. That would be great. Um, <laughs> Michelle, you're funny. <laughs> no decent bloke in sight. Well, you just never know. Maybe this little person's circling around the, uh, you know, the atmosphere just waiting for you to meet that perfect person and then they can just arrive. So a sensitive child anyway. So you just never know, do you, Michelle? So that's awesome. So, yes, beautiful. Okay, let's have a look. Hi, Fernanda, how are you? And, oh, thank you. Fernanda here and Mia, Maya, I think I said Maya, um, lots of hugs and kisses and she is just the most gorgeous babies talking about babies. Okay, now let's have a look here. Um, Amanda Rotondo, and guys, could you please tell me where you live? No one's done that tonight, and I forgot to tell you. So everybody now type in the comments where you live, so we need some interaction. Oh, loving your readings tonight, definitely guided toward the right people, much love. And I'm guided to you right now, beautiful Amanda. So you have lots of angels around you. You certainly do. And this is a beautiful card. It's the mauve angel feather, <clears throat> courage and faith. The angels are present and call upon you to be courageous. Draw on and trust in your deep faith, spiritual beliefs and angels to assist you at this time. And as I said, you've got quite a team. Quite a team, Amanda. Um, you have you been thinking about making a decision on something, or if you've just made a decision on something, or you're going to make a decision on something, um, you know, just ask the angels and 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 see how it makes you feel. As I said, always tell people tune in. How does this make me feel? If it makes me feel good, it's excellent. If it makes me feel, it'll be. Don't do it. Okay, but this is a courage and faith card. So this is about giving you, they're going to give you extra courage and extra strength. And if you really do feel something's right, but you just don't have the courage to take that leap of faith, the angels are going to deliver that for you. Let me know how that resonates for you, gorgeous. Lots of people telling me about feathers. Oh, we've got some people telling me where they live. So that's really, really lovely. Thank you very much. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Jacinta. And Zoe, lovely to have you here. Cheryl Groves from Shepparton. Well, there you go. I hope you've been out to see Cheryl at the AOK Healing Centre at Emerald Bank. Now, Kylie Fev Simmons says, ha ha, just got a satellite crystal necklace made with a swallow charm. Beautiful. Awesome. You would have been guided to that for sure. Renee Michelle Louise McFarlane says, Michelle, I'm coming in next week to get a crystal for my sensitive little boy. The, re the reading wasn't for me, but I think I was meant to hear that, so thank you. And that's right, Renee. Like when I draw a card for someone else, whoever's listening can actually get a message even though it was for someone else. So excellent work. We'll find him the perfect crystal, Renee. And he is so cute too. Awesome. And we've got people from Frankston, Florida, United Kingdom, Adelaide, Gold Coast, Beverly Hills in New South Wales, not you, not the US, Tanambit, I know how to say it now, Nairi, in New South Wales, 
Oh, Amanda Rotondo said she got her favourite colour and you'll often get your favourite colour. So work with that colour, wear that colour, um, Amanda. Tari in New South Wales, Sydney, Roxburgh Park, Melbourne. Oh, goodness, everything's going everywhere. Cheryl goes, she says she has been into the AOK Healing Centre and needs to come back. Well, we're open seven days, Cheryl, so we're always there for you. Amanda says, I feel them around me, yes, in the process, in a few things. Yes, I'm going with my feelings. Good girl, because she's got decisions to make. Thank you. I've been asking for more strength in many areas. Excellent. So they're hearing you. So that's a very good synchronicity for you. I'm stumbling over my words tonight. Um, okay, thank you. I've just been blessed with the knowledge that the angels have answered me with going with what feels right and with with love much love and many angels with you beautiful oh that is gorgeous uh that you're welcome renee thank you amanda that's gorgeous so you'll be fine you've got the courage now you you know we always um my sister and i always say you know if we just could have you know um a pool that we dive into that gives us you know we just dive in and then we get courage wouldn't it be awesome and then we could put it in little bottles so people would drink it be great anyway we haven't quite mastered that yet Candy says, thank you, as open as I am to a lot of people, I also do tend to hold on a lot to what I have to say, although I'm not exactly sure which person I'm supposed to let them know about. That's okay. I was talking, this is the card I drew for Candy, who was the sensitive communication. That's okay. It might not have even happened yet, Candy. It could be coming up. Okay, doll? Um, so if you do hold on, you know, sometimes people can be really quiet, um, yeah, and find it very difficult to express what you need or what you'd like. Uh, especially in relationships. So um, it may even be, you know, at work or could be on coming up. But, you know, and sometimes people are called, called to actually, um, you know, stick up for people or stand up for people, all right? So um, that could be something that's going to happen. And it's very hard for people who are quiet. Let's do a general reading, everybody. Okay, thank you for being here, Michelle Newton, the Aussie angel lady here um, with you. Love to know where you're from, so let me know. The more um, things that you write up here, the more chance I've got of seeing you. Um, and um, now what's Marlon Max says? Beautiful Bianca Michelle, I've run out of time. If I come up, tag me and time spot, I have a one and have a wonderful night. Well, thank you, darling. Thank you for being here. Uh, Mary Kelly says, do you have a book that goes along with the cards to know how to use them properly? Mary, thank you for your question. Um, in the the box, there is a little book that gives you, um, you know, quite a bit of um, meanings about the cards. But also, excuse me for leaning forward in front of the computer, I've got the Angel Feather Oracle Companion Book that has extended meanings for all the cards and, you know, affirmations and associated angels for every one of the angel feather cards as well. That's available um, on my website. So are the cards. If you don't want to purchase that and send it overseas, you can download that as an ebook from all the ebook platforms. But it's just beautiful to have the real books. It's got gold edge and ribbons and it's just beautiful. You can actually use that as an oracle. You can actually put the ribbons in place and you can draw, you know, you can open it up to a feather and you can read all about it. So that's that. Thank you for the question. So we're going to do a general reading for everybody. So have your question, sit quietly for a minute, guys, and have your question in your mind what you would like to know about. And we will, um, oh, Bianca saying, love your meditation CDs too. Thank you, Bianca. Meditation CDs are gorgeous. Um, they're available in CD form on my website, The Angel Staircase, and they are absolutely beautiful. And you can also download the CDs and the cards as an app on your phone. Amazing. So the CDs, you get you, it's not very much to get the app, and you get both the CDs if you're technical, you know, savvy. Okay, so let's, um, let's have a look at um, a general reading for everybody. I'm going to draw three cards. Okay, guys? The first card is the copper angel feather, which is business growth. The angels are here to inform you that the hours of hard work you have put in are about to be rewarded. If you have a business, this is good news, um, that business is going to start to pick up and improve. If you don't have a business, the copper angel feather is about things getting easier. 
okay so it's about your hard work being rewarded whatever that is whether that's as a home mum or in your work or the hard work you're putting into yourself and your spiritual development or whatever it is that you're working hard at is going to um, start being rewarded so that is great news the next card for you Jan hello from Michigan I sent your parcel today Mwah. So it'll take, you know, a little while to get to you over in the US. Um, the second card for everybody is the Royal Blue Angel Feather Chosen Path Found. The angels would like to reassure you that you are definitely on the right track. Congratulations. So that's a great card. And the third card for us, <clears throat> oh, this is interesting. Again, this is a um, Caramel Angel Feather, which is a new work venture. The angels are here to present you with new choices regarding your paid or unpaid work. A new career, job, hobby or project is on the horizon. So this is a very good good reading for us <clears throat> about our work and what we're working on at the moment, okay? Uh, Diane's telling some uh, Kylie that... Who, she needs to come up to the AOK -OK Healing Centre. It is amazing. Amanda says, uh, oh, my God, again, spot on. That's great. Okay. So later on in the in the um, live call, I will do another general read with the Archangel Michael Sword and Shield Oracle. Okay, guys. So if you are a fan of Archangel Michael, stay here. Yes. Yes, Bianca, it's a great reading for us. <clears throat> Hi, Paris. How are you? And Kathy says, those cards are so perfect for me. You're welcome. And like Renee said, if I read for someone else and you're here on the call, there'll be messages here for you. Trust me. You just stay on this call and you listen to the readings because you will have been drawn here by the angels to listen to me. Colleen says, oh, wow, all three cards are applicable to my situation at the moment. Well, that's great. And I love the cards for me as well. Always love, um, you know, improvement in business. Michelle says, yes, you applied for a few jobs. Good girl. Michael Connaughton, hello, My oh, Michelle, sorry, Michelle, oh, God, how did I get that wrong? Michelle, Royal Blue Feather, spot on, thank you, you're welcome. All three are amazing, says Kylie, and uh, Paris says, I'm good, thank you, that's great. Okay, guys, very, very good. I'm going to do some more readings now. My, my challenge is, hee hee, you make my heart tickle, live in the suburb of Melbourne. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> okay, radio, let's have a look. Let me know where you're from, everybody. Share and like the stream. Just a bit of an energy exchange for me. That's really, really great. Fiona's Taylor says, awesome new job. Thanks. That's great. So you just have to be observant and work towards it. That's great. Amanda just says, LOL. Now that's just freaky. All three resonate with me. I've bought a new business. Yay. That's uh, building very quickly. Awesome. And I love it. And I'm about to start another. I'm loving to thank you michelle you are one of my angels i'm sure oh that's so gorgeous cool. thanks amanda thanks for being here uh bianca says just a blessing to watch you live technology is amazing you touch so many lives and uh, um and wonderful michelle newton the aussie angel oh, thank you b you're awesome you're amazing you're on my support team um okay tan mckinnell hello how are you doll I read for you a couple of weeks ago, Tan. So um, just hang in there and call in your angels, beautiful, okay? Um, you need to just talk to them more, they're telling me. Okay, gorgeous. They're, they're ready to help you. you just got to really tune into them a little bit more. Okay, let's have a look. I'm going to scroll back here. Um, don't leave the call because you just never know. I could scroll back and, and read your name. I'm looking here at Denise Noblet. Hi, Denise. How are you? I'm hoping Archangel Raphael is with me. I need lots of courage. Well, Archangel Michael will give you courage, Denise. Archangel Raphael will help with your healing. I'll go to the Archangel Michael Oracle because in this Oracle, there's cards where he works with Raphael. And I'm sure Raphael is with you if um, you have called him in. Archangel Michael is with you, actually, and he's. this is the protection of self. So this is strong shoes. This is a visualisation technique. You've heard me talk about it often. This card I often draw on the live calls. It's a little visualisation technique about putting these strong shoes. Imagine these shoes in your wardrobe 
and you put them on and you just get this strength from Michael. So it's a visualisation. You're actually, it's a way to connect with Michael so that you can really tune in and feel his courage and strength. Archangel Michael has a gift for you, a new pair of shoes. Visualise wearing them when you require extra strength, courage and protection. So, Denise, that is what you need to do, my love. Okay. Let's scroll back here through. Share and like the stream, everybody. Give me some hearts. Let me know where you live. I love to see that, where you live, and see how far the reach is getting. Let's have a look. Denise says, thank you, I'm not very well. Okay, good girl. So you call in Michael and Raphael, all right? Tan says, yes, you did. You helped me so very much. That's wonderful, honey. So just keep connecting with those angels. Look at my meditation CDs. They'll really, really help you. Okay, beautiful. I uh, have to leave to go to work now. Thanks for all you do. You're welcome, Jan. Thank you for being here, gorgeous. Have a lovely day at work. Thank you for the hearts, hearts gorgeous. That's really great. Okay, so keep your comments coming through, guys. Um, and if you've got any specific questions, you can put them in the comments. And also with the comment, please let me know where you live. I love to know that. Okay, we'll do a gen another general reading in a minute. Sherry Wards from Swan Hill. Hi, Sherry. How are you? Tessa Ann says, love hearing and watching you. Tessa, how come I can't see that here on my phone? I'll just go out of that because I want to read that. Oh, she's in Melbourne. That's cool. That's really cool. I've just been in Melbourne all week. Your traffic's awful. Tessa, I was so glad to come home. God, stressful. I can tell you, I don't know what was wrong with the traffic. It was so, so busy. Tan says, thank you each week. I look forward to your life. Babe. I have your app. That's awesome. I've got three apps, the meditation app, the, the Angel Feather Oracle app, and the Archangel Michael Sword and Shield app. I have three. They're awesome. LOL, traffic is bad. Bad? God. Merciful. I had to call my angels and I had them all around the car. I was, oh, it's very, very stressful. Um, Kylie says, love Archangel Michael so much. Yes, he's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, who else do we have here? Thank you for the hearts. Keep them coming. Now, let me have a look here. Alexandra Oltinu, how are you, gorgeous? I probably said that wrong too. I'm going to draw you a card because you've given me so many beautiful rainbows and angels and hearts and kisses and everything. So let's have a look. Bianca asks me, can you get all your card CDs in a set? Yes, you can actually get them on the website as the complete angels toolbox. And it is very discounted if you buy the whole lot all together. So excellent question, Bianca. Um, yes, you can. And while we're on that subject of my online shop, I have a piece of paper somewhere. Oh, my goodness. Where's it gone? Here it is. This will give you a 20% discount. True story. 20% discount on anything on my online angel store and the coupon code is live live 20 for a short term short time only so you can purchase anything that you'd like on my online shop which is www.michellenew10.com i will put the links in the um you know you know the thing on the facebook after i finish so um live live actually i think i can type it in here let me let me try that Live e twenty oh twenty and um, the I think that that is the link to the shop. There we go. I'll just put it in the comments for you guys, and I'll put it in the the big one um, as well. What is the app called to download the cards? Um, if you go, if you put in Angel Feather Oracle or Archangel Michael Sword and Shield, or you can also put in in the goes that apps that should get it or just put in my name, okay, and it should come up. They're available in all your app stores, so um, that's that's fantastic. I have them on my phone too. Hi, Nicole, how are you going? Michelle Connaughton, 
Now let me just have a look here. Oh, any wisdom for me, please, have suffered from many losses in past five years of people I dearly loved. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetheart. That's really, really tough um, when you have a run of losing people dear to your heart and it happens. And Sylvia Brown talked about a run she had. She's the angel lady, one of the angel ladies in America that passed a few years ago now. But she talked about a run where she had a really, really terrible run of losing people close to her heart it was very very difficult times for her so um so grief you know grief is the cost of losing someone that you love michelle uh, positive thinking the yellow angel feather so hang in there gorgeous the angels urge you to take control of your thought processes you've been worrying too much this causes your mind to race during the day for you to sleep poorly at night so you know it's just time does heal um, look after yourself beautiful they're just saying that the yellow is always about happier days ahead okay do some angel altar work to connect with the people that you've loved light a candle with a photo near them you know near the candle with some lovely crystals or some roses and flowers that's angel altar work it's a really great way to connect with people that you love okay that have passed over okay beautiful so happier days are coming for you gorgeous okay hang in there sweetheart Amanda says, that's so lovely. I'll definitely get the meditation app. Yeah, you'll love it. It's awesome. Zoe Baker. Hi, Zoe. How are you? Um, new to your feed and would love a card, please. It's been great so far. Oh, you're welcome. And thank you for being here, Zoe. Make sure you share it with all your friends, since you're a first-time person. And please go on and like my Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady page. It's just a little bit of energy exchange. It's always great when you're doing work to receive some energy back so thank you and the hearts are energy back so keep them coming i really love them so zoe a card for your gorgeous from the angel feather oracle oh this is great this is the rainbow angel feather a special blessing this is the best card in the deck for you zoe with immense excitement the angels announce that you are to receive a special blessing angelic joy will radiate to you through this blessing so that is just beautiful I'm going to just tune in, Zoe. I do believe that you're going to see this blessing. Now, with special blessings from the angels, there's two types of blessings that can be delivered. The first blessing is um, that's what I call, it's like the iceberg. It's on top for all to see. And I do believe you'll see this blessing. And I do believe it's going to be a gift of some sort from someone. So that'll be really nice. Um, the other type of special blessing is one that you don't see. They are actually probably the most, um, oh, they're just very powerful, but you don't see them usually. It's usually the angels actually intervening, protecting you big time, you know, um, making you safe, um, you know, stopping your car so you can't drive, you know, um, planes being, you know, um, you know, held up so you can't be in the air at a certain time those sorts of things so but this blessing um zoe i do believe you'll see it and it is amazing and i do believe it's a gift that you will be given a gift from someone that's actually absolutely beautiful um excellent Catherine dowd coleman says she loves tuning in and listening from townsville queensland well thank you Catherine. that is really really beautiful how about we do a card for you just writing everyone's names down because I do have a bit of a system. Catherine Dowd Coleman from Townsville in Queensland. Thank you for being here. Probably nice and warm. We're really cold down here, Catherine. Freezing. We're over it. Thanks for all the hearts, everyone. Keep them coming. Um, silver um, angel feather for you, Catherine. We've just had a new moon. So how did you go? You may um, be affected by the moon or you may have felt the energies. The angels advise you to sit out and walk in the moonlight. The moon's energies will light up your path and protect you on your way. So you, I do feel that you probably, even though you may not have realised, you could have really felt the effects of the full moon. Full moon can just make you feel a little bit edgy. I don't know whether you felt that. Um, it affects me. I didn't realise it affected me. And um, I had a reading once and they said, you're very affected by the full moon. I said, oh, God, am I? But then when I started to take notice, I really was. I sort of don't feel quite, I don't know, just a little bit more, um, I don't know. You just feel the energy of, of, of the full moon. 
um, yeah, it's a very goddess energy. So it does affect women quite a lot. Um, but this card's also about the angels lighting your way and showing you which way to go. So that's really, really great news for you, Catherine. Okay, let's have a look here. Thank you all for being here. I'll do another general reading shortly. Zoe says, thank you so much. Been in a bit of a rut lately, so that would be great. Yeah, good girl. Um, Alison Clark says, it's cold in South Australia too. Well, we get your weather, Alison. We get it after you've had it. <laughs> so warm it up, girlfriend. <laughs> um, Catherine Dow Coleman says, yes, full moon affects my children. There you go. It'll affect the children, I'll affect you. <laughs> yeah, okay, very good. Um, so just be aware of that and, you know, use some like moonstone perhaps uh, would really help you, Catherine, a crystal, moonstone crystal. Okay, if you ever need any crystals, anyone, I will actually muscle test and angelically choose crystals for you so you can order them on the online shop with that code if you need anything. Live 20, 20% 20 off anything on my online shop for a short time only. Letha Thompson says, you are amazing. Oh, thank you. Alex Morgan Karamatikis says, Melbourne's freezing. Tell me about it. I've been there for three days. Oh, my God. We're, we're actually colder than you, though. I don't know how you cope with the traffic. My boys love the city. Oh, my God. I'm such a country person. I'm creeping along in the traffic, you know. God, wait till Mercury retrograde. Leave a little bit early. Allow yourself more time. Sarah Bailigan says, thank you so much for sharing your gift. You have given me courage to follow my dreams and being an intuitive healer and channel the angels for my clients. Oh, Sarah, that's so nice. Let's do a card for you, Sarah. Because the healers are always healing everybody else. Tell me where you're from too. I'd love to know that, where you live. Um, I'll do your card for you, Sarah. Let's have a look and see what um, the angels have got to say for you. Ha, ah, there you go. I've got a healing card. Woo! <laughs> I'm glad you're doing your healing work, Sarah, because you, you are a healer. And this is the Emerald Green Angel Feather, Restored Health and Healing. The healing angels have heard your prayers for improved health. They sent healing rays of green light that will assist you or a loved one to heal physical and mental conditions. But this card for you is actually that you are a healer. You are an amazing healer. Protect your energy, gorgeous. Make sure you work with a lot of gold when you're doing your healing work so you don't take other people's stuff on. Okay, good girl. Keep up the good work. The Archangel Raphael is patting you on the back. Um, okay, whatever. Oh, hello, Sharon Bourne. Good morning from Minnesota. Hello, Sharon. Quite late here at night, quarter to 11 in Australia. But welcome and good morning and may the angels be with you, beautiful. Um, Sharon is here regularly on the call. Alex Morgan Karamatikas says, would love an amazing message have my first psychic party tomorrow and a function on being a guest reader. Good girl, go you. There are mediums and more need guidance for tomorrow. All right, a reading for the reader. Awesome. Here we go, Alex. Oh, shivers, Alex. They're falling everywhere. Cards going everywhere. Obviously, you're going to be busy. Let's have a look. Choose to feel good. Now, don't get, you know, in your head. Um, orange angel feather choose to feel good the angels ask that you let go of old emotions and any emotional pain from the past when these are released joy will warm your heart now Alex just don't overthink it they're telling me okay just do what you do naturally don't overthink it don't put too much pressure on yourself beautiful wear some orange because it's a very good color or use a you know an orange crystal it's a very good color to keep you emotionally balanced okay it's a great crystal or carnelian or something like that. It's a great crystal for performance. You know, I worked with an AFL footballer for a long time when I did kinesiology and he actually wore orange jocks because it's it's great colour for athletes and performance and performing. So I would be using an orange crystal. If you have one, Alex, go and have a look in your crystal collection and get one revved up ready for tomorrow and all the best and may the angels be with you and may your readings be amazing. Uh, Alex is outside the city near King Lake where they have been, where they have had, oh yes, Black Saturday. Okay, darling. Yep. Alison Clark says, I'll try hard, Michelle. It's going to be 20 degrees this Sunday and you are so lovely. Oh, good girl. You're going to send us a little bit of warmth. Awesome. Sarah's in Northern CT. Thank you so much. I don't know what I don't know what CT means. I'm in Australia, Sarah. It must be something in America, is it? Let me know what that stands for. Uh, 
Okay, let's have a look here and see who I'm going to read for next. Um, Brandy Baker. Hello, Brandy. Brandy says, my mother-in-law passed on Sunday. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry for your loss. I have seen so much death this week. I use your cards very often for my clients. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. I think you actually follow me on Instagram. Oh, that's good. Glad to see you. Okay, honey, let me draw a card for you, beautiful. If you're an angel, I probably follow you. Let's have a look. Oh, this is a pink angel feather. Love is in the air. So the message on this, which is not, not your message, but the message on this card for anyone else listening because sometimes there'll be a message for someone else. The romance angels are here to inform you that there's an interesting development about to take place in your love life. These cards actually love from your mother-in-law. Okay, it's a very mother ring loving card. So the angels have her. They are sending you lots of lots of love, beautiful, and um, that she's she's fine, and um, sending you lots of beautiful love to you. Okay, so that's the message for you tonight. Okay, let's have a look. Gail Kathy Mail says hi. I'm from Grand Rapids. My Gail reading, please. Thank you. Just having a look here. Okay, then, um, Gail, let's have a look here for you. Let's have a card. You were here last week, so thank you very much for being here. I do remember a lot of people. Sarah says, I'm so appreciative. Thank you. You are welcome. Kylie says she's up from Melbourne. <laughs> I do like to get down and see my son. Now, Gail, um, a reading for you, the green angel feather, which is simple things. The angels would like you to spend some time alone to gain a fresh perspective on your life. I think you need a holiday. Well, the angels are telling me you need a holiday. How long since you've had a break, Gail? Um, you need to take um, a little bit of a break. You need a, a rest, okay? That's what they're telling me for you. Helen's from Tarpon Springs, Florida. That's awesome. Welcome, Helen. Having a look at my notes here. Helen, I will draw you a card, beautiful. That's a long name too. We've had people with long names tonight. Florida, how lovely. That sounds beautiful. Would love a card. Oh, Helen, there we go. Fiona says, thank you for your time tonight. Have to leave now. Early start. Be safe and well until next time. Beautiful. Well, see you, Fiona. Um, Helen, this is the cream angel feather embrace change. The angels applaud your willingness to embrace change with acceptance and maturity. So there is changes ahead for you, honey. All right, so just go with them. All right, don't fight change, people, because when we fight change, it really, really makes it very difficult. And I do believe someone, is there someone different just coming to your workplace that's making some changes and you can't understand why? Because I do feel if that's not happening, it could happen, okay? So just um, be aware of that. You're welcome, Alex. Bianca, I'll give you a card because you're very beautiful and persistent. You've said so many nice things. Here's a card for you, B. Bianca is the holistic wellness oil goddess, and she's amazing with aromatherapy and um, doTERRA oils. Awesome. She knows everything. Go on to her page, the holistic wellness goddess, oil goddess. She's awesome. Bianca, there's a white angel feather here, new beginning. The angels ask that you ready yourself to commence something new and exciting. A wonderful fresh start awaits you. Yes, you're going to do something different or you're going to do it in a different way. So that's really, really good news. I do believe it's work-related, okay? Kylie says, oh, we'll tell my cast members this. We can all wear orange underwear <laughs> if you can find some. <laughs> That's funny, Kylie. Oh, well, Bianca, well, it could be. It could be romance. Yeah, well, it's a new beginning anyway. So I did feel it was business, though. I'll have to say that. Okay, let's have a look here because I do believe we have a gentleman, Stephen Fitzsimmons. Welcome to you, Stephen. Lovely to have the guys on the call. Hey, I'm new to this and I would love a card. Okay, Stephen, I'll give you, actually, no, I'm going to give you an Archangel Michael card because he's really great working with the guys. 
Let's see what he's got to say for you tonight, Stephen. Okay, this is a great card for you, Stephen. It's Creative Solutions. Think outside the square. Archangel Michael assists you now to consider and examine alternative options. This will lead you to a peaceful and perfect resolution resolution of issues at hand. So it's time to get your thinking cap on. It's time to be really creative and to do things a little bit differently. Okay, Stephen, so that's an action card and it's um, a creative card. So take that on, mate, okay? Very good. Let's have a look here. Uh, thank you, Michelle, says Bianca. Uh, I'm open to receiving abundance on all forms and new beginnings. Oh, yeah, absolutely. New beginnings are great. Don't be scared of new beginnings. They're awesome. You know, it's you don't want to be in a rut. Just do something new. Okay. Now, Kylie, I've been talking to you a little bit. Have I not read for you yet? So Kylie Febby Simmons. I just want to make sure I don't um, read for people twice because the feed... Um, is delayed on the PC. Okay. Kylie, let's draw your card. I actually want to go to Michael for you, Kylie. Regarding your spiritual journey. Okay, awesome. Very broad question, but we'll draw a card for you, gorgeous. Your conscious breathing. So I think you're consciously actually focused on what you want to do, and that's really good. Conscious breathing, deep breath, Archangel Michael asks that you take a slow, deep breath to bring inner peace and balance. Breathe in calm, breathe out stress. I think you're focused. Keep going the way you want to go, honey. Don't listen, don't listen to people. Is that what you've been doing? Bianca says, new beginnings, you gave me this card in January. It's on my fridge. Okay. I want you tonight, Bianca, to sit down and think about all the new things you've done so far this year because you might be a little bit surprised okay did you just itch your nose while using the michael cards well nori you know i itch my, my nose when i'm doing michael isn't it bizarre going to have to tune in waking loving the energy you're giving to all the lovely people ask the angel oh thank you bianca that's beautiful now Kylie, you said nope not yet oh okay i just did a reading for you darling Hi, Gail. How are you? Miss seeing you at the Mind, Body, Spirit in Sydney. Oh, Gail. I know. But I'm seven days a week here at the AOK Healing Centre. But did you know I've signed publishing contract with Animal Dreaming Publishing? I am probably going to be platforming at the Mind, Body, Spirit in Melbourne in November. I don't think I'll be doing Sydney this year just because of time constraints. But, look, in the future, working with Scott and Trudy, I could end up anywhere so let's just see what happens okay right let's have a look here joanne lou goodies did i say that right never mind if i didn't you know i do my best everybody don't you now where are you from gorgeous would love a read a new staff member coming in two weeks i'm getting negative vibes don't know why would would a card help explain? Okay, Joanne, we'll go to Michael for this because he's about this card deck assists us with stress and worry, okay? I feel it's just an anxiety. You've just got this anxiety. This is, yeah, you just need to protect yourself a little bit. Auric field protection, protection rose. Archangel Michael guides you to visualise, so visualise, a beautiful protection rose to sit on the edge of your aura, okay? So just get yourself protected i think you're overthinking it i think it's just a little bit of anxiety um set in with you um joanne so i would like you to start turning this anxiety into love and i want you to start sending out beautiful loving energy to the new person that's coming okay i've seen this in the workplace before we get very comfortable with people that we work with and then they leave and we're really really fearful that we're going to actually not get someone who's very good. I saw it with a girlfriend of mine who was very, very upset about one of our colleagues leaving and we were shift workers and we're on night duty and she got herself into a complete state about it and we just kept reassuring her and reassuring her and reassuring her and what ended up happening was the woman who replaced that lady 
she ended up being best friends with her okay they had an amazing connection so it's just a little bit of anxiety Joanne okay so give it over to Archangel Michael okay Bianca says, yes, you are right. When I asked the angels to give me courage and open my arms to abundance early this year, so much has changed. So many new beginnings, achievements, lovely new people, everything. I really do believe if you ask for your angels, they will provide. Yes, they will, Bianca. Uh, Joanne says, okay, we'll do. Yes, so start sending it, just visualising the new person to angels, the new person, I want to send them love. I want to send them love. They might be nervous too. That could be what you're picking up on, Joanne, okay? Um. Radio. Kylie says, yes, I do listen too much to others, but I am so focused and connected right now. I just start, I've just started my Reiki journey. Excellent. Good girl. Follow your gut. Alison says, are you coming to Adelaide? Oh, Alison, I love Adelaide. I don't know. Hopefully with um, Animal Dreaming Publishing, I might end up over there at some stage soon. Um, we're two years into the um, healing center now. It's been a lot of time and energy investment. Um, I do have now a really, really wonderful team. And the more we build and the more the team builds, the more I'll be able to travel. So if you start putting it out there to the universe, you will end up seeing me, no doubt. And I do miss Adelaide because it was just gorgeous. Okay, let's do a general read for everybody. I want you to think about... Um, any question that you may have? Another question? Stephen, did you get back to me about your reading? I love to hear what you've got to say about it, whether it resonates. Joanne says she's got plenty of love to give. Yes, you have. Good girl. Right. Oh, they're falling everywhere, people. Think about your questions. We're calling in Archangel Michael. Okay. And Christina says she'd love to see me again in, in Adelaide. Yes, oh, I'd love to go there too. We just did a reading, a general reading about that came out about business. Tiffany, listen back to the feed, um, listen back to the to the um, you know video. Okay, if you're not sure what to ask, just say angels, what would you like me to know at this moment? Okay, and then they will give us guidance. So everybody, we're we're talking to Archangel Michael now, a beautiful protector and guide. This is beautiful card. This is a gift from heaven, everybody. This is divine aid and nobleman. Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key. This sacred key ushers in the arrival of a nobleman to assist you in your time of need. That is amazing. This is not small. This is awesome. This is huge. This is someone that's going to be there and just want to help us. And you don't even have to ask. They'll show up. This is great. Oh, my God. Amazing. Second card, divine guidance, golden tongue wisdom, another gift from heaven. The purple suit is gifts from heaven. They're golden keys. It's the most magical suit. Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key. This sacred key brings you to guidance delivered incidentally by another. So that's interesting. Third card, let's have a look. See if we can get three purple in a row. That would be awesome. The third card, oh no, fresh eyes. So this is call in a third party. This is an action card. Archangel Michael requests that you consult a third party to assist you. Fresh eyes are required to objectively review an unfolding situation. So a nobleman is coming to assist you. So this is a magical thing that the angels, this is a gift from heaven. Someone's going to show up to help you right at the right time when you really, really need it, okay? So you don't even have to do anything. You just talk to your angels and they are going to orchestrate. Now, a nobleman is amazing. A nobleman built my healing center for me. I showed up. I took the action. I went in and asked. Now, that was a huge thing to do. I actually said, you know, I'm looking for a home for my business. And then he said, what is your business? And I told him and he just looked at me as if I had 10 heads. But he thought about it and he goes, well, I haven't got enough here for women. Let me think about it. And then he built me a centre to my specifications. Now, that's a nobleman. Who does that? So noblemen are magical people that turn up right when you need them. Okay, amazing. And this also here, the, another golden tongue wisdom is getting guidance from somebody Often they don't realise they're delivering guidance to you. You might be walking along in the shopping centre and you're thinking about, oh, my goodness, how am I going to get this to work? And then you hear 
two ladies walking along beside each other and one lady says, you really need to do this, Mary. And she tells us something and you think, oh, that is golden tongue wisdom. They've delivered a message to you. Joanne says, I think we all need a holiday. God, I think I do. My sister's telling me I need a holiday, apparently. But I, I think I'm going to have a week off. I went to Hawaii last week to Doreen's um, Angel Intuitive again, which was a holiday. And there was another reason why I went for that. It wasn't just for that. So I'll talk about that at a later date because I can't reveal. It's amazing. So, yes. And then if you do get this guidance, you overhear something. It could be on the TV. It can be in a song. It can be someone saying something. A child could say something to you. They don't realize what they're saying. Then you go and ask somebody else about it. Okay. You get third party in to give you more assistance. Hi, Sharon. Lovely to have you here. Thank you all for being here. We've still got a lot of people on the call. Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady here. Only going to do a few more readings because I've had a really, really big week um, at the gift fair, down buying lots of beautiful things for Christmas. You wait till you see my Christmas display. Oh, my goodness. It is going to be amazing. Uh, Kylie just asked about our new possible home. This is fabulous. Awesome. Yeah, that's great news. The angels are amazing. That's amazing, Nobleman Card, AOK Healing Centre. Yes, he was a nobleman. He's an amazing man. I'll be forever indebted to the beautiful man who built me that centre. And you know what else he did? Let me tell you something else he did. When we moved back here from interstate, when we're in the process of negotiating about the healing centre, my husband had no work. And one day I was just at the end of my tether. That is one of the cards in Michael's deck, at the end of my tether. I did not know what to do. We didn't have hardly any money and he had no work and we were both really, really stressed. And I thought, I'm going to ask Lloyd. And I rang him and I said, Lloyd, Mark hasn't got any work. Would you have any gardening work or anything like that? He said, send him out. He gave him work and he still works for him. He still, and he, he worked at Emerald Bank for a while until it was taken over by new people. But my husband is still his personal gardener. That's a nobleman, friends. Okay? Forever grateful. You don't forget them. It's I, I can't honestly say that I've had that happen as, as far as I know before in my life. Um, very good. Okay. Stephen. Hi, Stephen. You're back here. Just started a new course at TAFE and I'm loving it. Thank you so very much for my card. It's amazing. Great, Stephen. Awesome. Congratulations for that. I think you're going to do very well, Stephen. Okay, thank you for being here. Um, Joanne's signing out. Thank you for being here, Joanne. See you next week, usually on a Wednesday, sometimes a Thursday. It depends what's going on. Ron Hillhouse says, Sharon's take Michelle on a holiday. Well, I think Sharon's going to have to work so that I can go on a holiday, Bron. I'll have to take my hubby. And maybe my son and his new girlfriend. Well, they're not that new. 12 months. So, yes, so I'm looking to have just a little weenie break, maybe in October. Beck says, hi, how are you? I'm absolutely awesome because I'm here doing what I love doing. I actually felt tired tonight, but once I start doing this, you know what? I just feel really good because I know I love doing it and, and I love connecting with the angels for, for you all. Okay, a couple more readings before I sign out. Now, don't forget, guys, I've got the, um, I'll type it in here, Live20 is a coupon code which gives you 20% off my online shop. And there's the, um, there's the link for you. And you can, on anything, anything you're looking at, crystals, jewellery for yourself, an Oracle card deck, CDs, and a beautiful angel, something for your angel altar, it's all there, okay? Okay, uh, I'm just reading here. Uh, K, is that how I say it? C-A-Y, Lioness, that's obviously a Facebook name, um, has been in a very, has not been in a very good place for a few months. I lost a loved one during a dark period. I'd love to be able to hear something good. Oh, I'm so sorry for your loss, sweetheart. And um, as I said to someone before, um, losing someone, you know, grief is the cost of love, you know, lo loving someone so dearly. So let's see what the angels have got to say for you, beautiful. Oh, and you're grieving, honey. 
the vermilion angel feather, light a candle. The angels feel your bereavement and loss and are here to wipe away your tears. Now, I've shuffled these cards. This card has come out. You're still sad. The angels feel your bereavement and loss and are here to wipe away your tears. It's time to connect with your precious love. Now, the best way to do that, sweetheart, is to light a candle next to a photo of them. Okay, beautiful. And that's a way that you can connect with them. Okay, and you say a prayer. Okay, and you tune in. You say, I'm here. It's just like they're next door. You just talk to them like they're next door, okay? And ask them to send you a sign because that will make you heal quicker. So just if there's something particular you want them to send you a feather or a rainbow or a butterfly, whatever it is that you want to send, ask them to send you some signs so that you can feel them. Okay, darling, that's what you need to do. And I'm sorry for your loss, but, you know, um, connect with them. Light your candles. Ask for a sign so that you can actually feel better. Bron says thank you and please take a little holiday with dear Bertie I will and he loves holidays but we don't do honeymoons anymore remember Bron they are not good they go pear shaped honeymoons no good holidays good funny story about my honeymoon I'll tell you one day when we're in person um, Sharon said the last general reading was really beautiful yes it is Di says good night I hope to be over next week Maybe our lunch will finally happen. That would be lovely, Di. You'll just need to let me know because I'm actually working some extra days um, because Sharon, the girls, Sharon's got a 21st and the girls are starting to go away for home holidays, so that's why I'm going to take one after they come back. Okay, so I'm just going to do uh, one more reading um, for you. Let me see who's here that I'm going to read for now. I hope you're all still here because I can scroll back. Gail says she has to come and visit. I would love to see you, Gail Sandor. Um, just having a look here. I'm going to read a card for you because you're a long-term long -term fan of myself and my AOK -OK products and uh, my work. So thank you very, very much. And I don't forget people who have stuck by me and the angels. Happiness awaits for you, Gail. This is really beautiful. Hi, Karen. Welcome. Um, sunlight angel feather happiness awaits the angels ask that you feel happy and optimistic there are bright days ahead for you and that's really 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 good um, I do believe that you you're going to have an event that you're going to really have a great time at so um, you know enjoy mm. there is an event coming up for you that's going to be a lot of fun and you're really going to enjoy it so uh, and and they say go and buy yourself something new to wear take lots of photos uh, Mary says thank you really enjoyed all the readings you're welcome Mary um, and what time is it it's getting quite late um, Miranda says thank you for sharing your gift could you please tell me if a friend I lost a long time ago knows how much I loved him oh, of course of course he does Miranda uh, connect with him like I told the other lady to connect using the candles ask for a sign from them all right they're around you okay all right guys so thank you for being here with me tonight on the live call. I do the live calls once a week, usually Wednesday, Thursday night, usually Wednesday. Um, I love being here with you. I love doing readings. If you didn't get a reading, there's always something that you will pick up, um, even if it's like Renee said, I'll do a reading for someone else and that's what you're thinking about and you go, that's for me as well. And that's how it works. We do the general readings as well. I did speak about Mercury Retrograde at the start of the reading. Um, not that it's my specialty, but I am very interested in the planet. So um, you're welcome, Miranda. Thanks for being here. And thank you for all the hearts. Thanks for sharing. And, um, yeah, it's really, really lovely. Um, so I will see you back here. Um, yes, thank you, but had a few freeze frames. Had to reconnect a few times. Hope I didn't miss my name. Thank you, always. Just listen back, guys. That happens if... Always just refresh your screen or go out and come back in. It's Facebook. It's nothing I can do about that. But, um, yeah, listen back in case I read for you if you weren't here. Um, so thank you very much. And I will see you back here next week. Don't forget the 20% discount coupon code, which is available for a short term only, time only for you live viewers. And it's live, I'll put it in here again, live 20, oops, I spelled it wrong, which gives you oh, shivers. Live 20, oh goodness, oh, God, I spelled it wrong again. I must be getting tired. Live 20, 
which gives you 20% off anything on my online angel shop and there is the link. And we love to choose things. We muscle test angelic guidance for crystals, that type of stuff. We choose a perfect crystal for you. So you don't have to worry that you're not choosing it yourself. We will really tune in and my staff are amazing and I will usually choose all the crystals myself for you. And, um, yeah, so buy yourself a gift. Start your Christmas shopping, 20% off. Love to see you here next week. Take care and have a beautiful week. Bye.